Hello everyone, my name is Cammie and welcome to my channel, Key to Disney. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so, so much for coming back on my channel. We're doing the Disney content with a sprinkle of Bath & Body Works and that's what we have in today's video. We have my July Bath & Body Works empties. I can't believe it's August already. This year is flying by so, so fast. But I have my Bath & Body Works and hygiene empties still haven't found a new ring light stand thing for my phone so for a little crooked i apologize for that but you guys i went ham in the empties like this bin it's overflowing it is overflowing i did such a great job um normally i go in order like non bath and body works candles you know that kind of thing but my bin is so full that i'm just gonna pull out random products i don't know how much i used i haven't counted and i haven't done my spreadsheet yet because I wanted to be able to dispose of my non Bath & Body Works products before I went through my bucket because it would all just spill out. So the first thing I went through is the Skin to Mint Coconut Delight um, Moisturizing Shave Gel. I really like this. It is like it is like a gel to foam formula. It's really great for sensitive skin. And there is a smell, but it's like not super overwhelming. So I liked this one. So I would repurchase that again and I have repurchased it. The next thing I went through are a shampoo and conditioner of Mane and Tail. I both bought these when I was able to find these at like Burlington for $3.99. For $3.99, they're good. But I started trying to take better care of my hair and I started using like the Joyco like deep conditioning um conditioner and shampoo but i do still have a bunch of these shampoos left so i'm continuing to use the shampoo so i don't waste my product and then just use like the joyco like deep conditioning conditioner but for 3.99 if you're looking for like a good like budget friendly shampoo and conditioner i thought these were pretty pretty good i mean i've been using them for like years and years and years but just finally I decided to switch it up because why not but yeah i used these up i still have probably three more of the shampoos left but this was my last conditioner and that's why i decided to splurge on like a higher end conditioner but i still would use those if i had to the next thing i went through is this a snowman story hyaluronic acid little um face mask that is from the creme shop i've been trying to go through all my little sheet masks and face masks that i've gotten from ipsy i with skincare i can't tell the difference if it made a difference but i mean it felt good on my skin like it was a little bit cooling and super refreshing so i did it like that but so i used up this i think i have like three more of these Okay, the next thing I used up was this Lakeshore Sunset Candle from Huntington Home, which is the Aldi candle brand. This was on clearance at my store for 99 cents. It smells so good. I don't have the scent notes, but if I can find them, I'll put them up on the screen. It's like a more fresh, like I get a little coconut, so maybe there's some coconut in here. I think this is pretty good. For 99 cents, I would, I would definitely buy it again. I bought it this month and used it up this month, so... Here is the Lakeside Sunset, Lake Shore Sunset, excuse me. Next thing I used up is this Aromatherapy Sleep Shea Butter Body Scrub. This body scrub was super, super creamy. If you are someone who does not like a super scrubby scrub, this is definitely an exfoliator that you could use every day. It smelled great. It was like lavender because it's the uh, lavender and vanilla. Super good like lavender scent. And it's super, super creamy. So if you're someone who is sensitive to body scrubs and you don't like a super scrubby formula, I would definitely recommend picking this up. Okay, another thing that is a little bit of an older product is this bath salt soak in Santa's blueberry shortbread. My sister had decluttered her collection and gave me these. And it's like just like a bath soak. And you just like, what I do is I fill the cap with these. I have one more of these. But I fill the cap with the bath salts and run it under the water. And it smells good. It's a blueberry scent. I don't know why they don't make like these as much. I don't see these like salt soaks as often anymore. But I think this is from Land of Sweets, right? But yeah, this was so good. And I would love it if they make like more bath salts again. I feel like they have some in aromatherapy. But like in fun scents like this, I would love to see some bath salts again. And I would repurchase this time and time again if they continued to come out with it. The next thing I used up is this Lavender 5-in-1 Essential Oil Mist. I've been getting so much better about using these. I like to spray my pillow in my bed before I go to sleep. And I think it does help me fall asleep a little bit faster. 
This is the five in one mist. It says spray directly on skin, mist pillows, add to a hot, cold, hot or cold compress, spray in the shower or spritz yoga mat. I love these. I think I have like six more of these. So I'm hoping to use them all up by the time of the next semi annual sale so I can stock up and get some more. I finished up this um, Princess Ariel Bath Fizzer from Mad Beauty, Mad Beauty, which I got in a Disney box swap. Um, my friend Serena sent me this. She sent me like a really nice like um, body care, like princess themed advent calendar. Um, this was really, really good. I will say it's a little, it took a while for it to like fizz up and like fizzle out, but it smelled like coconut and it was so good. And yeah, I used it in the bath actually yesterday. So that was very nice. Um, the next thing I used up is a Have a Nice Flight, which is from Wishes Candle Co. If I'm being honest, not my favorite candle brand. I will say I've used like another scent. It was called Shadow Doctor and that one was super strong, but it was like a very cologne scent. This one, I don't I don't know. I think it's supposed to be for um either Flight of Passage at Animal Kingdom or what is the ride at um Epcot called? Oh, Soren. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Soren. Um but I I didn't like this. I don't know. I didn't like this. I have a very small bedroom and it did not fill my bedroom. So I probably won't purchase from Wishes Candle Co. again. Um, moving on, I did use up a couple more face masks. We got a little bit of a leakage going on. But this is the Skin Iceland Solutions for Stressed Skin Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. I thought this smelled kind of weird. So I definitely would not get this again. The smell was super off-putting. And especially with it being like on your face and right by your eyes and like your nose. Not a fan. I would use this again. This is the Hydrating Water Sheet Mask from e.l.f. Super, super refreshing. It made my skin like not dry at all. So this was really, really nice. And I would definitely repurchase this one again. I'm trying to get better at using up some my skincare products and I think I'm doing a great job at that okay I think these are the rest of my non bath and body works items I finished up this first aid beauty coconut water cream I think I used this as like a moisturizer before my makeup it was okay just trying to get rid of all these little sample size products out of my life because they take up a lot of space like after I had Ipsy I think I had Ipsy for like four years you get a lot of like nonsensical like skincare like trial size items that you really don't need to keep and I've been hoarding them and I just I'm trying to use them up another thing that's kind of gimmicky for me is the acai your boobies like serum by truly I I think these are really really gimmicky um if you want to feel like more pampered I guess you can add this to like your body care routine and skincare routine I don't think it did anything and they're very very expensive so I definitely would not grab this one again Another thing I would grab again, I got these in a ColourPop like mystery box that my boyfriend ordered for me. And I was like, great skincare. Like, I don't need this. But I'm, I fell in love with these. I still have one more left. But this is the 4th Ray Beauty Watermelon Face Mint face milk it is like it it is like it is a moisturizer um there's a little bit left in the tube but I can't I can't get it out but it smells so good it smells just like watermelon and I thought it was super 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 refreshing and this little bottle lasted an entire month so I can't wait to purchase these again as soon as I'm done with the last one that I have left so I definitely would repurchase this again now I think everything else is Bath and Body Works so I did finish up a Cactus Blossom moisturizing shower moisturizing body wash excuse me um i can't read the notes because this packaging is absolutely horrendous i'm pretty sure they have changed this this is like on the older side uh, i don't know how old it is because i'm i don't know how to tell i don't know how to tell usually there's like a print oh wait here there's a 9157 up at the top here so maybe 2019 and they've definitely changed the formula since then because this formula like of the container excuse me the packaging on the container is terrible it peels off in the shower i do like this formula i'm really iffy about it but this cactus blossom was super super good and moisturizing but i'm just so happy they changed the packaging the next thing i used up is this passion tuberose and ylang ylang um uh foam bath from the aromatherapy line this was super good i love the foam bath i don't use these for like body wash but for a foam bath they produce a lot of bubbles in this the ylang ylang so good i hope i'm pronouncing that right i'm not really sure but oh it smells so good i would definitely purchase this passion scent again i don't think they have it anymore but if this has been repackaged into something else please let me know in the comments below 
unfortunately i have a hand soap that i don't like i'm usually like i'll take any and all kinds of hand soaps but this is cool cucumber mist i cannot stand the scent of cucumber as fragrance soaps of cool cucumber fresh spearmint and salt water mist this is literally just cucumber like cucumber like scent in a bottle that's all it smells like not a fan definitely would not repurchase this again but if you're someone who likes the refreshing cucumber scents you would definitely love this the next hand soap i used up is sea salt and lime one of my all-time favorite fragrances this is fragrance of the chilled lime fresh eucalyptus and sea salt 10 out of 10 recommend my favorite soap honestly i think my favorite soap scent of all time so i would definitely recommend sea salt and lime and i think i had one more uh, foaming hand soap and this is a bright citrus sunflower this is fragrance so it's a juicy mandarin orange golden sunflower and sugar cane this is a good fruity scent a good really 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 refreshing fruity scent i would definitely pick up this scent again and definitely recommend it if you guys see this one i think those are all the hand soaps i used um i also used up a cactus blossom body cream um and this is categorized as like an exotic floral scent uh this was um getting really yellow i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it like not like super super yellow but i was noticing it starting to turn so i was like okay i'm gonna start using this one up i don't know when this was from let me see my eyes i think this is from 2021 so not super long ago but i was just like okay it's starting to turn a little bit might as well use it up so i did use up cactus blossom I'm trying super, super hard like the next month to just strictly stay on body creams. Like I'm not going to add any new body lotions into my Project Use It Up, but just add body creams into my Project Use It Up. So fingers crossed I can get rid of some of my body cream collection before they go bad. Um, a mini body cream I went through is a salt water breeze. And this is fragrance notes of linen, uh, violet leaves, water blossom, and white musk. This one was super good. Um, like I said, always say in my videos, cut open your products. You get at least two or three more uses out of them this is a very fresh scent saltwater breeze is super good and i wish they would bring it back but i did finish up a mini the next mini i finished up was cactus blossom and the fragrance mist in combination with the body cream um i think i went through this much this month that seems to be my line sometimes the lines rub off but cactus blossom so good and i do have another full size of cactus blossom that i keep in my bathroom but this was so good definitely repurchase this again i'm noticing another skincare product that i missed the first round but this is the illuminating eye cream from elf this lasted me like a good month and a half um eye cream goes a long way especially when it's so cheap like elf is so affordable i would definitely recommend this it made my under eyes feel super super refreshing so i would recommend this i think that's it for the skincare sorry about that oh just kidding i lied there's another one i used this dirty works um peel it off charcoal nose pore strip this does a great job i try not to use these a lot but once a month it helps like get out like blackheads in your pores and just make your pores on your nose like more clean and less clogged so i do like these and i do have a couple more of these left but yes i would recommend this okay now i'm done lying to you guys that is all i have for my non bath and body works items i did finish up just one pocket back this month in champagne toast so i would repurchase that again i finished the full size at the beach i finished this in the very beginning of the month like within the first week of the month because i only had that much left to go and i'm so proud of myself for going through a full size fine fragrance mist and i made some really really great progress too on my other mist so stay tuned to my for my project use it up video but here is this oh so good my like progress on my project use it up um i also used up a mango mai tai uh car fragrance thing i'm so bad at keeping these little tabs but i did keep one this month to show you that i did use it up so i was excited about that i also lied i excuse me i have another hand sanitizer that i use this is oops i'm dropping things over here this is copa cabana coconut this is really good um i'm not too picky about the hand sanitizer fragrances um another another skincare item this is makeup okay this is like a the idiest bittiest professional primer tube that i've seen in my life it is so cute this does a really great job of like smoothing out your pores before you apply makeup so i did like this okay and now there's no more uh skincare i use up a fresh gardenia body wash shower gel and this has fragrance scents of dewy honeysuckle white gardenia and cashmere musk this was on my favorite scent like it was good enough 
I don't think I would want this in the spray. I don't think I could smell like this all day, but like for the shower, it's super floral and refreshing. And then the rest are candles. The first one I burned up, and I'm so sad, is Banana Bunk Cake. This was one of like the first 75% off candles I ever found. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. This is fragrance. So it's a sweet banana, toasted walnut, and fresh cinnamon. I don't know if they have this still, but this packaging was adorable. I was literally like where this white line is, and I was just holding on to it because I'm like, I hope they bring it back or they have this cute packaging again. But no, I decided just to burn it up because I'm like, why do I have a half burnt candle? I went, I did pretty good on my candles this month, actually. I went through a gingham and like the little try me candles. Uh, this is fragrance notes of blue freesia, white peach, and fresh clementine. It's like a good free floral. Super good. I don't, like, I don't know if, can you get a gingham candle anymore? I don't know, but gingham body care is super, super good. So you can definitely try that out if you like those scent notes. The next one I have is Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit in the Single Wick. Let's get this open. Oh, it smells so good. This one smells so good. So, so good. I love the kiwi and pineapple in this. I would definitely repurchase this scent again. And honestly, I think I have a backup of this one. Just two more candles. Thank you for hanging in on this very, very long empties video. Um, I went through Market Peach. I wanted to line this just because I ended up warming this one this month. Because this was one of the candles... I used to not burn candles because I was like terrified I would burn my house down, but now I'm burning my candles. So this one was at here, already warmed, and I did warm it this month. Now naturally this does not go down, at least in my experience. So every time it would melt completely through, I would just take like a napkin or a paper towel just on the top just to get a little bit off. And that's how I was able to use this up. But of course, there's not going to be any burn marks because I never burned this, but this market peach was super good. Juicy peaches, dew covered leaves, and a hint of vanilla. I don't really smell the vanilla. I just think this is a really great peach fragrance and this packaging is to die for. Last but not least, the strongest candle I've had in so, so long is Clementine Sherbet. Sherbet. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. This is so, so good. The throw on this was amazing. Iced Clementine, sugared citrus, and sweet vanilla. I, I've never had a stronger candle in my life. And you guys, this is really bad. I don't know if you guys are able to see this. I burned it down to where it was like just the metal pieces left. And it was so funny because my boyfriend really loves this. And he's like, oh, where'd that orange candle go? That one that smells so good. Like that orange one, you know? And I'm like, what is he talking about? And then I looked in my like bin of empties and it was this one. And I'm like, I burned that through. He's like, okay, we'll go buy another one. I'm like, I can't. They don't have it anymore. So Bath and Body Works, please bring this back. Or if it is back, please let me know in the comments down below because I don't really keep up with the Bath & Body Works candles that they come up with, but this was so good. Highly recommend. Okay, wow. This is a long video. It has been 20 minutes already, so I'm going to cut the chit chat, but I'm going to throw out my spreadsheet on the screen. I did a really, really great job this month, so I'm super proud of myself. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what items you used up this month. And if you like seeing my face, Days more Bath & Body Works content, make sure you consider it in that subscribe button because it's free to you. It helps me out so much, and you guys can always change your mind later. Thanks again, you guys, for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.